Right guys, it is January 24, deadline D. I will not do that Jim White impression ever again, that was terrible. <sighs> uh, this, yeah, it is transfer deadline day, January the 31st. Um, only five hour, uh, four hours to go as it stands. And it looks like Aubameyang, well isn't going to Barcelona now. Um, he's travelled all the way to Barcelona and has done what we call a Peter Odom Wingy. Uh, when Odom Wingy tried to sign for QPR from West Brom, I believe it was. Uh, I think, can't remember what year it was. It might have been 2012, I think. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, it. He's gotten there and Barcelona basically have offered, well, they've basically asked uh, one of their players to join Arsenal and the Barcelona player has said no. So Barcelona can't sign a Bamiang because of the problems they have anyway. Um, so it doesn't look like that deal's going to go through. So I, I guess the real question is, if a Bamiang isn't able to leave Arsenal right now, is his like sort of playing time going to be up? Will he have any sort of future in terms of um, playing for Arsenal? Um, or will it just be he won't play and he'll leave in the summer? Um, so for me, I think Arsenal, I know they're trying to go for, the, go for this thing of it. They, they're trying to build up this uh, young squad of players that are all like age 23, 24 and under. Like they're, they're, at the moment, they're, they're sort of trying to play with a front four of um, Lacazette up front. So he, he's like the old one. He's 30, I think he is. And it, his contract's running out, so he won't be there much longer. And then Martinelli on the left, Saka on the right. And uh, at the moment, it's Odegaard down the middle and Smith Rowe coming off the bench. Even though Smith Rowe, for me, I believe, is probably the best out of all four. Um, so I don't know why he's on the bench. But um, yeah, and even midfield, they've got they've got Thomas Partey and at the moment, Sambi Lakonga, who are their first choice. And like, there's not much... It, um, experience in there. There's a lot of youth. Uh, there's just Thomas Partey and Lacazette in attack, basically. And they're, they're not using Aubameyang because he has been a bit like, you know, um, what was the word to use? A bit slack in the way that he's behaved at the club throughout his time there. And you don't want that from your captain, so I understand why they uh, stripped him of the armband. But um, I, I think my real question is, will he, you know, play again? I don't think he is, because I, I think Arteta is probably a man of principle. Um, and I don't even think Arsenal really need him. I, I think they'd have to be pretty desperate for Aubameyang to play again, because one, he was in poor form anyway. And two, he's, he's ageing. I think he's like 32 now. Um so I, I I don't think they will actually use him, which, I mean, then begs the question, where will he go in the summer? Because it doesn't look like he's leaving right now. So Barcelona is apparently interested in him. I'm, I don't think that's a good move. The Saudi Arabia, apparently, as well. Again, that, that's basically him accepting that his career is finished. It could happen. I mean, it could if he wants one big final payday in his career, then that that would be the move, wouldn't it? Or I, I don't know if if China is still looking for big players in Europe to sign, um, or that I think I heard the other day that AC Milan were interested in him, and again, uh, that that wouldn't be a bad move for a Bamiang, I guess. He's he's been at a Bam he's been at AC Milan before, um, so he you know he he made the club, and um, but, but would it be a great signing for them? I it could be because it might suit a Bamiang because he is you know he's slowing down, he's he's getting older, he's not the speedy lightning quick striker. Uh, he was in 2016 um, 
so that that, that potentially could work um, because you know obviously the Italian league is quite slow compared to the Premier League and it, 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 uh, AC Milan in particular have got quite a few uh, older forward players in the likes of Zlatan, uh, Olivier Giroud and I, th I think they've got someone else who can't pinpoint his name and back me head off for uh, whatever the phrase is uh, but yes he, he, <clears throat> he, he would sort of fit in at AC Milan is what I'm trying to say but yeah, I, I don't think he, he will play for Arsenal again. Um, I, I just don't think Arteta's interested in him. And yeah, if, if he does, I still think Arteta will want him gone by the end of the season because he, his attitude towards um, like discipline is has, has been poor for years. Everyone's known that with Aubameyang, really. But yeah, anyway, that, that's my thoughts on it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.